Hi again and welcome to the uh, third demo of this uh, home build sequencer. Um, I haven't really changed anything since the last two demos but um, I wanted to show some of the uh, little more odd uh, features that, um, that I added. Um, one of the things I, I realized pretty much as soon as I put the thing together was that I really want a ratcheting sequencer. So I, um, uh, and of course I didn't add any uh, control panel um, settings to, to allow that. We really only have the gate on, off, and then function, which means either skip, reset, or stop. Um, but I haven't really used stop um, as much as I thought I would, so uh, I thought I would add a configuration option to uh, allow me to change the stop functionality to be ratchet instead. Um, so to do that, I, uh, let's uh, start a sequence here. So here we have a, a sequence going on the first on the first row, uh, first and second, 16 notes. Uh, and I set the function to stop. And when I switch a note down to stop or to function, it's going to now ratchet that note. So we heard that instead of playing one single note, it would play a stream of, of, of notes. And I can do this all over and I have a second channel as well that I can... So that was pretty fun. Um, and I can switch back to stop uh, instead of ratchet whenever I want using this uh, configuration setting. Uh, and to enter that configuration, you hold in the reset button for three seconds. And uh, what I did there was that um, I, d I didn't add any kind of uh, LED or LCD display to it, uh, obviously. So uh, um, I thought I could use the, the 8x4 LED matrix as a, as a little scrolling text uh, thing here. And, uh, it kind of works. Uh, at least it gives me uh, the ability to see what's uh, what's happening here. Well, not as obvious as I would have hoped, but if I hold in reset for three seconds, it's going to say bing, 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 and then it's going to say S E T U P for setup. And the first one is MIDI. So this is MIDI, and this is signifying this is the first configuration option. And right now it's set to two. And what that means is that when uh, <clears throat> when I play back and I'm using MIDI output, the first row or the first channel is outputting on MIDI channel 2. And then I can uh, skip to the next configuration, which is MIDI, which is MIDI channel 2, or MIDI, the, the second row, uh, the second channel is now outputting to MIDI channel uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So to change this, I uh, let me see. I press uh, reset, and you saw that the change because now I can use the tempo button here to set between one and sixteen here. So I can set that to two as well, and then I can move on and do the third configuration, which is MIDI three, also channel two, and again MIDI the fourth. Uh, row is also MIDI channel 2. And then if I press again, it's going to say LED. So this is the LED brightness. Uh, and if I uh, enter that, you can see that I can change the brightness of the LEDs between, you know, one in, in 16 different steps. Uh, and the next one is stop. And here we see stop FCN. So this is uh, the stop functionality is either one or two. So if I enter that, it's either one or two. And one is regular stop. So if stop is function is se se selected and I have stop, then the playback will stop. But if uh, if it's set to two, it's going to ratchet instead of uh, of stopping. Uh, 
and now MIDI one again. So we're back to the original one, and I just have to press start stuff to be back to the uh, to or the original functionality of uh, running the sequencer. So that's how I uh, intend to uh, kind of uh, add these configuration options. That it's a little bit easier than uh, going into the back panel and uh, put some jumpers in. Um, so that's about it. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.